In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to put a texture on a model. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go find an image off the internet. Um, so do a search for whatever you're looking for. If you can click on Seamless, then it'll wrap around a little bit better uh, and make it easier to, to do. So when you're downloading an image, then just kind of click on one that you think would look good and then try and save the bigger version of it. If you're clicking on these little thumbnails, it's going to be lower resolution and usually you can come over here and just right mouse click and just do a save image as. And as long as it's a JPEG or a PNG, um, you should be fine. And there's other formats too, but those two are probably the, JPEG's probably the most universal. Um, so what we're going to end up doing is something like this. Um, so before you get into Blender, you save the image. And then once you've done that, let me just jump into my folder. And I've already downloaded um, some. So I've, I've got this folder in here called Textures, where I've got just a whole bunch of textures uh, that you can just start collecting and everything that you're going to use. Um, and then the other thing we want to do is we want to save a document uh, before we start applying that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to just do a File, New. And I'm just going to do it on this box again. Before I do anything, I'm just going to do a file, save as. And I'm going to go ahead and save this um, as texture object. I'll go over the top of what I already had and click save. So now I've got the textures and in there and then this right here. You do not want to have your textures in the downloads or some random place because this directly links to those uh, images. Uh, and you don't want to jump out of a folder. You can jump in, but not out. Okay, so now that we've got that going, I'm going to jump over here to one of these two, either uh, the material or the render icon, either one of those viewports, and start off by just adding a material. So you've got a material. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to map it out and add a color to certain spots uh, where you're going to put those materials at sometimes is a help. So maybe I'll do a little bit of that. I'll name this brick. Um, I'll create another one and I'll name this stone. Okay, and then I'm going to go over into edit mode now. So go into edit mode and face mode. So I'm just going to have maybe the top of this be stone and just assign it. Maybe I'll do the bottom down here. I'll do stone as well. Okay, so that's what I've got going on so far. And now I'm ready to actually apply uh, that first texture. So I'll go back over here to my texture. So I'm going to apply that brick over to this. And I'm going to go ahead and down here where it says base color, you're going to click on this little circle, this little node, little icon, and click on it and go to Image Texture. From there, you can go to Open. And then I'm going to go ahead and double click to go in my folder. And if, if you're not seeing this mode here, you can just change this from vertical list to thumbnails. I kind of like doing that so I can actually see what I'm doing. So there's my brick texture that I'm going to just throw in there. Open image. And as long as you're in the right mode, uh, you'll, you'll see that show up. So that'll put on a, a texture and everything. So now that didn't put it on exactly the way I wanted it to be. So if you come over here to UV editing, we can do a little bit more with that. And then let's go ahead and click on this. And what I'm going to do is unwrap it now, which is kind of a way to control it. So I'm going to go ahead and select, hold down shift to select all my, um, all my faces. And then if I go to UV unwrap, so UV and then unwrap, you can either do UV unwrap or smart. Um, I'm going to just do unwrap, just see what it does. So yeah, that looks pretty nasty. I don't like that, so I'm going to come back up here and do Smart UV um, Projection, and then click OK. So that puts it on a little bit better. So now i, I got to play with it a little bit, and if I come over to this UV Editor, press A, there shows my three, or my four 
um, on there. And looks like this one didn't quite show up. I'm going to try that one more time. So select all those again. And then smart UV unwrap. Click OK. OK. So we'll just deal with it the way it is. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just press A to select them all over here. And then press S. I can kind of scale that to get it to the right position uh, on there. So that should kind of tile it the way I want it to. So now this one just didn't do what I want to do at all. So I'm going to just click on that one individually. And you'll notice it just comes over here. I can just press A, press G to grab. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate that. So I'm going to, if I press R and do a control, I can rotate that and get that kind of going on there. And you can continue to press G to grab to kind of position that and kind of eyeball it um, on there and everything. Okay? So, and then to get my stone texture on there, I'll go grab that too. So that was going to be here and here. So I already have it outlined. So once again, click, go to image texture, go to open. Sometimes it lags there. And then go look for my stone texture that I wanted to put on. And maybe I'll just throw in this one. Click open. And it just throws that on there. So it's already on there. If I want to play with it again, once again, I can um, go ahead and uh, unwrap that now. So if I select that one and that one, and let's see if it lets me. So if it doesn't give you the squares over here, you just do the unwrap or UV unwrap. It already gave them to me over here, so I'm just going to press A and just kind of scale that to the one I wanted. So now this rock texture I have, it's not seamless. You can tell that there's some lines in there, so that's where I could play with it a little bit. Um, go into um, those pieces. B to block select. G to grab. And then B to block select, G to grab, just so they're not showing up in, on those scenes, so depending on what you want to do. So and that's how you do some texture editing.